Why, hello everyone, and um, I have, I have been wondering what to do with my videos, and I decided to redo Paper Mario 64, and yes, I will uh, try and beat the whole game. So, let's just uh, start it off here. Alright, um, my first live commentary in a long, long time, and... So just get into the game. It's uh, it was one of the uh, the first uh, one of the. It's about the I don't know, but this is uh, it's, uh for for the sixty and sixty four, and um, it's uh, it's one of the first Mario games I think. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, let's just uh, start off with the story here. Um. It starts out with, uh, I guess, getting, uh, Mario and Luigi getting, uh, invited to a party, basically. And, eh, this is just the, uh, prologue of it. Um, yeah, nothing, uh, much else to get into. But, uh, yeah. Paper Mario 64. This game is one of my favorite games I uh, to play. Um, I had a lot of fun beating it, and it's just one of the games that I think that everyone should enjoy. That's been a Nintendo fan all their lives, and yeah, I guess it's um, it's one of those games that you know it's pretty cool. All right, so we're in the castle, and there's just guests from everywhere. This is when you can actually uh, move around. So you basically move around with your uh, left stick, I guess. I don't know. I'm using the classic controller for N64 since I couldn't find my GameCube one. So um, I think I'm gonna get into the controls here a little bit. Uh, Um, the, the up button shows your, uh, HP, I think, I think, is there a button? I don't know, something shows your, uh, HP, but, uh, let's just, um, you have to press A for every door, um, yeah, it's not, unless you're absolutely lazy and you really don't like opening doors it's not that painful All right, so we're just gonna I'm oh it's the uh... It's up on the z-pad or something I think it's called the z-pad but anyways uh... I'm just uh, going through doors finding peach I guess um... Yeah, so, uh, this is, uh, the starting of the game. I would love to get into this game a lot more, and have more videos of this out. Uh, so this is, yeah, just basically the start of the game. Uh, everything is, I guess, shaky. Eh. Paper trees, kind of ironic, you know? Um, there is, uh, Put the castle there. I built it myself using sticks. But anyways, uh, going up into the air, and this this, uh, this game has just amazing graphics for the N64. It really showed what the N64 is capable of, and and other stuff, crap, whatever. I have nothing to say. Alright, so there's Bowser in his little clown car. Ah, oh, This can't be Bowser. It wasn't you! Yes. 
he takes control of everything. He's a power whore. Yes, he is. Alright, it's Mario, what a shock. Ah, not really. Alright. Now, what's unusual about this part is that you actually get to fight Bowser in the beginning of the game. I mean, who fights the boss at the beginning of the game? And then you realize, who? Oh. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> You have a lot of options. You can choose not this, this, only this. And it's basically an HP battle. And yes, he claws you. Let me remind you that you cannot beat him whatsoever. And that is why this game lives on. Because if you just beat him here, then it'd be like game over. I'm like, oh, I wasted my money on this game. But, yeah, so it's just a pretty pathetic battle here. Good old Mario, you always the one on my side, blah, blah, blah. But hey, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Alright. Star Haven, it's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wild world. Uh, increase my strength, even you can't beat it, Mario. Mario. Oh, Mario. Now, what I should uh, tell you guys is that I didn't show you the uh, the story behind this. Basically, Bowser goes into this star place, Star Haven, and he takes the star out, which is pretty powerful. And that's basically what he has here. And that's what's uh, why you can't beat him at the beginning of the uh, game. And you can see his attacks get stronger. You only have two hit points left, or heart points, as they would say. Um, yeah, it just does nothing, because he is invincible. And he's just gonna finish this off here. <sighs> yes, he is a cheap Bowser. Bowser is cheap. But... But... I mean, you know all Mario games, they don't end this badly, so... This is, uh... This is, uh... A, a, quite an adventure coming up for this game. I, I'm really excited for it. I just have nothing else to say. <laughs> Other than Mario just getting f uh, flung out of the, uh, whatever you call it. Um, into the earth. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, floating paper as it falls down the Earth's atmosphere and not burn at all because, because you can't burn. Paper can't burn. We all know that. Basically, that was the start of the game, and that is the title screen, Paper Mario. I don't, I don't know if you guys knew I was playing this, but whatever. Prologue! Alright, a plea for the stars. Alright. So, this is Mario after he fell off uh, that um, 20 mile fall off the uh, castle. And you have these, uh, I forgot what you call these. I think they're called Star Spirits or something? I don't remember. I think. I think they are the Star Spirits. I am not sure. I don't remember. This game is longly played. Well, thank heavens he's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. He fell like a hundred miles. <laughs> and he, yeah, whatever. But Bowser has a star run. Now he's mighty than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now, our fate's in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Quick revive. Uh, gather around, everyone. Send Mario your power. Now, these stars were actually taken in the beginning of the game, and this is their holograms of it. And they're using their powers, basically, to wake up Mario. To save... 
one of them because they need to be saved because they're stars and they can't escape. But here we go. It really sounded like something fell around here. Oh, who could that be? A pile of paper. Yes, this red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? He's not real. Hey, hey, wake up. Come on, up and at him. Oh, no, he won't wake up. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, what am I going to do? I think I'll just run because I'm a Goomba. Because I'm a pink Goomba. And I think I want to harvest Mario because I hate him. All right, sure is. This is I think this is the leader of the stars. All right. Speaking of his dreams, I'm out star, star spirit. See, I was right. Yes. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario. We Star Spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Summit. T T T T T T. Alright, so he is sleeping. And then he wakes up. See, this is this is real size Mario. He's very short. Oh, Mario! I'm so happy to see you awake. You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. This place? This is Guma Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toe Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas that hate us and want to eat our guts. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. Wow. Prove me wrong, why don't you? They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Yes, they revived him. Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying the star told you to go to sh sh shooting star summit? No, I saw nothing like that. And I sure didn't. I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. I wonder, Mario. Maybe you just had a dream. Hmm. Every, blame everything on a dream. Yes. Uh, although, something, something, they live in Star Haven, yes. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. Let me put my uh, face check on. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goomba, Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. And if you paid them gold. Alright, so jump. No! I just want to jump. Alright, so I should get into more of this game. Um, these controls are unfamiliar to me because. So just talk to this kid. Hey Mario, I'm Gumario, your biggest fan. You don't know what this means for me to meet you, seriously. I want you to stop on my face because that's what Mario does. Alright, so go on here, I think. I'm not sure. Well, East is this way. Oh, whatever. Alright, let's hit the save block. Hit the save block to save your game in progress. When the game is over, your status will return to what is the last time you saved and you can continue to play. So, like, after this, if I forget to save and then get a game over in a battle, I just go back to this and, yeah, you don't want that because basically that's starting over and it's kind of hard. So, anyways, um... Do you want to save? Yes. You should save and go over to this. This is their dad. Their dad is barely bigger than their children. His children. Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. You what? You have to leave right now? Oh, shouldn't go to summit. Something important, no doubt. Well, I believe that the summit is near Toad Town. You have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before you can head out to the east. Alright, so basically you're holding, holding me hostage because the gate isn't fixed. You know, you could just like let me through. Earthquake the other day did a, good, did a job on it. Did you feel that quake? Shoot, I thought the, the sky was falling. Yes, reference movies, why don't you? Just relax and don't worry. I'll have, I'll have this fixed in a Jiffy Cracker. Alright. Oh. If you're wondering why I said Jiffy Cracker, well, well, I hope I show him this video. That'd be funny. 
All right. Um, let's talk to this old Goomba that that has no eyes because her eyes were teared out by tor torn out by I don't know. Oh, you startled me. Oh, yes, Mario, isn't it? Yeah, so you've awakened at last. Good. Uh, no, you, you, you'd pull through. Call me Goomba. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so I'm G -G Goomba. I'm sorry, but you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy in fixing the veranda. Like, I know what that is. Alright, so. After you do that, just go back out. And backtrack. Well, not really. Oh, Mario, my dad was working for you. He said he'd tell you that he's finished the gates. So I guess you can start traveling to shoot his stomach from toe to town, whatever. Let's go over here. And he has it fixed. And tells him to visit. And something unusual happens. Some person with a mob comes in and wants to tell us that he Mario can't go through yet. Well, why can't he go through? You ask. Well, huh? I'll tell you why. Because everyone hunts for Mario, even if they're good or bad. So here's a gift for um, Mario here, and it's uh, oh my gosh. It's probably like a TV. Oh my gosh, you broke the gate. No. Why did you break the gate? Oh, I'll never get out of here. Alright. So what you gotta do here is you got to listen to this fat dude. Tell him that his gate has been uh, destroyed and we already knew this and his uh, face is very disappointed. So, uh, something, don't even care. He's just complaining about people who, uh, you know, like to ride on mobs. So, whoa, 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 Bowser, uh, when he kidnapped Princess Peach again? Oh, unbelievable, now you have to go to Shooting Star, Sh Shooting Star Summit to save her, and save her, right? Well, I think I needed to anyway, so, y you need to, uh, listen up, sir. Um, this could be a problem. That we just we just gotta do something right. We just gotta save the princess. No. Nobody else can do it. Nobody else except for Petal Bear. He can save anyone. Mmm. Oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goomba's big hammer. Goomba, sorry. His big hammer. Mmm. Big hammer. I think he's using it to uh, fix the veranda. All right. Time to go back and see this fat dude. This dude is fat and old. We must go after him. So. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Dude, it's like fading away. It's like. And then Mario falls, losing his eyes because they turned white. And there's the veranda right there, so. Oh. Pulls down like a champ, and you gotta go over here and look at this guy. Yes, we just met him. That is Koopa. And you are, I remember a great crashing noise, and then the veranda collapsed and I fell. Well, wouldn't you think it'd be a little smarter to put the veranda on land instead of hanging over a cliff? Alright, so we have to... Just like... You're thinking, what? First we need the hammer... But then how are we going to get out if we don't even have the hammer to break the block? Break this block. Because we were supposed to break the other block. Now we're breaking this block. So he's telling us that the hammer is somewhere. And... The hammer is over here. So what you have to do... Is you have to... Yeah, look for something like that. If an exclamation point appears, press A. Like this. Now, I know where it is. Oh, why am I so tired? Jeez. Oh, my gosh. It's affecting me so bad. I'm sorry, people. Ugh. Me too, RPGs. I make me tired. Hold on. 
All right, it's back. Sorry. Um, I think the hammer. I think I know where it is. I'm gonna try and get it in the first shot. I think this is it. No. Oh, then it's this one. Oh my gosh, I was one off. Whatever. You found the hammer. Mario can do the hammer attack now. You can smash the yellow block for this hammer. Nice. So now he's telling us you can press B to do the hammer. Now you want to hit the save. I just hit that. Whatever. Rapidly press B. And oh yes, I almost forgot a bonus. If you hit this tree, you get a doll. And he explains that it's his uh, granddaughter's um, doll. And she's glad to have it. So, that's a bonus thing to get, and I suggest getting it. Hmm, well, we found the hammer, so I guess we should head home. We all know that if some character that's on your team, or in your clan, or whatever you're gonna call this, in your party, if they're gonna go and, um, I guess, leave before you, you can kinda tell it's gonna foreshadow something, and this is what it does. Youch! Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots. That's a very bad word. Nobody sets foot in here without my, my permission. Nobody! We're prepared to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Troopa. Alright, so we have to battle a Koopa and an egg. This is hard. Alright, he's just saying that he's a bully, I guess. And this is our first fight. Real fight. Alright, so the hammer and the jump do the same amount of damage. So don't even worry about it yet. Alright. It's just the same thing over and over again. It's like Bowser, except he doesn't have a star rod, so. <laughs> except you actually get to kill him, and it's impossible to lose this. I'm just getting warmed up. All right. Are you serious? Well, you can actually die if you do that. If you do strategies, do nothing. All right, now I'm gonna prove that jump does the same amount of damage, just like that. So, Mario, you almost, almost got him. Keep it up, go on. All right, you asked for it. Say hello to Junior Troop's special attack. Full of power! All right, so his, uh, Stuff does a little more damage, and I think I kind of regret doing what I did. Because I don't know if I'm going to die or not. Never mind. Alright. I'm going to stop right here. I'm not going to end the video or anything, but I'm going to explain what star points are. Star, I know he explains it. But star points, um, you get an amount after you beat a certain, like, um, enemy. Now, the more you beat an enemy of the same, like, species, the less star points you get, because it's easy, and you'll notice that the easier ones you get less, and then sometimes, like, like after, like, beating the whole game, going back to the easier ones, and they don't give you any star points. So, here, I'll tell you, you got, we got 20 star points because of the big ones, the little ones are worth one, obviously, and we got 20 total right now. Basically, if you get 100 of them, uh, say add up and you get to keep them in your little whatever savings account if you add them up and you get a hundred after beating a lot of enemies you get to upgrade your HP which is your health your BP which are bad po badge points and I'll get into those later and I think it's FP flower um, points and what flower points do is they they also are uh, um, another thing I'm going to get into later uh, they're not uh, they're how many points you have for uh, do, using special attacks, and usually influenced by badges for um, enemies. So if I didn't confuse you already, I'll get into it a lot later. And he basically says the same thing. Uh, you go up a level. Yeah, you kind of level up, and you get you get to choose what you want to level up. All right, and I love that. I just. That's my favorite jingle of this uh, game. That, just, you know, beating someone. 
So, you know, he's not dead, but the other enemies you fight will die. He's just like a mini boss, and he will come back mm, multiple times in this game. So, I mean, I'll be back and prove, and prove something. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna hit this block. And I think later in this game, you'll be able to find secret blocks. Alright, now we can hit it. And another block. More stuff getting introduced. This is a heart block. A heart block, when hitting, you jump. You regain all of your HP. I, um. I don't remember if it recovers your FP or not. I think that might be Paper Mario 2. Uh, feel free to comment if uh, you know. Or I will uh, figure it out myself. Alright. So we're just going to do a little more, and then I'm going to end this video. It's already long enough. But... Alright, so just get up here, and this is an item. Alright, this will explain it. You'll use items in this game to attack enemies to recover your HP. To recover your HP, and to do a, a few other things. The few other things are, um, attack. And... What the fire flower does is it attacks, I think, it all enemies? Yeah, and they lose like 3 um, HP. I will get into each enemy's HP later. So, if you press this button, the left... I think it's called the Z-pad, I'm not sure. It's the yellow for what would N64 be. But I have a classic controller, so it would be the right. Alright, so... I forgot the fire flower. Um, there's something else. Oh yeah, you can also get uh, ooh a mushroom. Yeah, this recovers uh five HP. You can do this. You just don't recover anything. All right. So, see bad goombas. He says you want to strike him first. I will give an example and then I will uh, end the video here. So, let's just do it here. Alright. You made the first strike. You want to strike them before they strike you. Alright, so I don't want to demonstrate the item just yet and I will uh, do the jump. And it pretty much died because I already got the first strike on it. And you get two star points. Yeah, see, it's kind of weak. And you already get some hearts. So that was basically the first enemy ba battle, other than uh, pathetic other ones. Now the annoying thing is you will be, if the enemy is somewhere, it, it can get annoying because they are, what, following you everywhere and the battle is just, takes forever. So I'm going to do another one. You cannot step on these. All right. Uh, that's when I get into badge points, because, uh, there is a badge in this game that allows you to step on spiked enemies. And I guess, kill them. So that was the end of him, and... That is going to be... The stop of us. So, in, uh, the next video, I'm gonna go back and hit the save block. Yes, this is kind of a long process, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm gonna go back and hit the save block, and then I am, uh, I don't even need to show this. Then I'm going to, uh, you know, be done, and I will, uh, see you guys later. Alright, so, uh, thanks for watching my first, uh, new and improved Paper Mario 64, and I will, uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.